What's going on everyone? Right now it's Saturday, August 12th, it's 8.06 and we're at the train station in Amori. And we're about to make our journey to the island of Hokkaido. But in Hokkaido, we're gonna be stopping at the city of Hakodate. Hakodate is the third largest city in Hokkaido and it's one of the closest cities to mainland Japan. So I'm really excited. I haven't been there yet. So we're gonna check it out and see what we can find. Let's go. And this trip, I'll be traveling with my friend George. He's a Japan travel expert. Are you excited for Hakodate, George? I am. Hokkaido is one of my favorite places I've been in Japan, but I haven't spent much time in Hakodate, so I'm good. I'm glad to see the city. So from where we're at right now, the train is only about an hour and a half long. So it's a quick and easy train ride, and we'll be there around 9.58, so not too bad. So we made it to the outskirts of Hakodate. So now we have to take a smaller JR line to the main city of Hakodate. All right guys, so we made it to the city of Hakodate. And right now we're gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do next. We're gonna look at these, these directions right here. We're just gonna figure it out. We don't really have an exact plan, but we have some ideas of where we want to go. So we're going to see what the closest locations are and then head, go from there. Well, the morning market is here. You want, you want to go to the morning market? Yeah, morning market it is. Okay, let's go. Here's a first look at the city. It's not too hot right now. We got the clouds blocking the sun. Here's the weather forecast right here. Um, doesn't look too bad it may rain towards the end of the night but other than that i don't think it's going to rain during the day so i think we're all good so we found this interesting building we're going to check it out right now so it looks like a bunch of restaurants oh a bunch of crabs in there so inside that building was a bunch of restaurants. Majority looked like a bunch of fish restaurants. Um, sushi, fish, um, sea urchin. We might have to head back later, but now we're outside and I believe this is the Akadate morning market. So we're gonna check this out now too. Oh, oh my, octopus leg. Oh, oh, look at this crab. That's a big crab. He's trying to crawl out. <laughs> He's almost got it. Oh my gosh. Look at this crab right here. Wow. That crab was 30 kilograms. That was a big crab. They've got some massive crabs here. We found a small restaurant within the, the morning market. We're going to try it out. So this is the first thing that I got. I ordered sea urchin. I've never had it before and I'm gonna try it out for the first time right now. Here's a better look at it. Nice. Got some wasabi on the side too. You've had sea urchin before? Yeah. Is it good? It's pretty good. I don't, I'm not a fan of the texture, but the flavor's really good. Okay. Especially if you use the sauce with it. What sauce, this one? Soy sauce. Okay. I'm gonna wasabi. try it out right now. All right, here we go, guys. Sea urchin for the very first time. Let's try it out. It's really good. It's really creamy. It kind of melts in your mouth. It tastes, it tastes like fish. Very kind of salty, but it's very good. Delicious. And then this is my meal set that I got. Let's see. Got some fish, rice, noodles, looks like chicken, 
some fruit, and then some soup. Should be really good. Then the last thing we got was a plate of raw squid. Also famous. Pretty famous here in Hakodate. If you come to Hakodate, make sure to try some squid, some sea urchin, some fish, because it was delicious. And so I'm excited for tonight's dinner. I don't know where we're going, but the food here is really good. So this is the restaurant that we ate at. So if you're ever in Hakodate, make sure to try out because we because we thought we both thought it was really good. Yeah, it was super fire. The guy spoke uh, English, uh, very easy, very quick, good stuff. Yeah, there wasn't a line. Some of the restaurants here have a, have big lines, and that one didn't have a line, surprisingly because <clears throat> it was really good. George got some melons here. Really good. The melons are famous here in Hakodate. Is it is it any different? Is it any sweeter or anything? It's sweeter and uh, it's really juicy. Okay. It's good stuff. Right now we're walking to the famous red brick buildings right now. Um, we're going to check those out. I think it's kind of a little bit of a shopping center. Mm -hmm. But we're going to, I'll check it out and we'll, I'll show you guys what's inside. Oh. The red buildings are right there and then that's Mount Hakodate as well. So two pretty famous things in Hakodate are kind of back to back right there. All right, so we're walking past the famous red brick buildings. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna check them out. So these are the red brick buildings right behind me. They're pretty cool. You don't typically see this type of architecture in Japan, so it's pretty unique. So we spotted some interesting vending machines right here. We have no idea what they are, but I think we're gonna try them out. We got yeah. to. Here's what they look like. Hakodate, it's like a clown. Same with this one. We have no idea what these vending machines are. Uh, yeah, how that do you... says coffee. Oh, that says coffee? Yeah, I can't read all of it, but that says coffee. Miruku Hairi. I think it's milk coffee. See, George can, can read and speak a little bit of Japanese. It's pretty imp impressive. So he, he could tell that this was coffee without even using his phone or anything. So this is coffee. Pretty interesting can. I've never seen this one before. Definitely cola. It's like cherry flavored, interesting. Oh, were you expecting that? No, it's very unique. It, it's like, um, it doesn't taste quite like Coke or anything like that. It's, uh, I think a little less sweet, but I don't know. I don't even know what to describe the flavor as, but it's definitely a cola. All right, so we're gonna try this unique red coffee out. See how it is from Hakodate, from this famous restaurant in Hakodate. Unique vending machines that we haven't seen before. We're gonna try it out. It's good. It just tastes like sweetened coffee. Not too unique. It tastes. It tastes kind of similar to something that I've had before, just like a normal coffee. Nothing too, nothing too special about it, but it is good. So we found this side right next to the red buildings. And this sign is shows all the restaurants. This hamburger restaurant in Hakodate. There's there's many different ones. There's it's all around Hakodate, and this map shows the locations of every single one. Pretty cool. So we just went into the first red brick building and it was kind of just a bunch of small souvenirs, but it was pretty interesting. Some, a couple cool things inside, but we're gonna check out another one. All right, going into red brick house number two. Ooh. So we just finished the second red brick building. I like that one better than the first one. This one had some more more cooler stuff than the last one did. I was looking more. Hakodate was not just one, not just one of the oldest cities to be open to foreign trade in Japan. It was the first after America came over and essentially said you have to open to uh, foreign trade. Hakodate was one of the first two ports that they allowed foreigners in. That's why there's so many uh, foreign buildings and foreign consulates here. Now we're going into red brick building number three. Looks like a 
like a typical mall type area. So now we're going into the red brick house number four. So we finished going in all the red brick houses. They were all just kind of little shopping areas, but they were pretty cool, pretty unique. But we're, now we're gonna keep walking and see what else we can find. So this is a famous photo spot in Hakodate. It's just a big steep street that kind of looks down into the ocean. So we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like at the top. So we made it to the top of the hill and here is the view of the street. Pretty cool. Cool buildings right here. Looks like an ice cream store. We saw this little ice cream shop right here. It says the second most delicious ice cream melon bread in the world. It's only the second best. I mean, what's what's the first best? We don't know. Either have I, not in Japan. So right now we're at the old public hall of Hakodate and just take a look at it. It is one of the most unique buildings that I've seen in Japan. It's got yellow outlining all over it and then the building itself is a dark blue color. It's very cool. This building is the old public call of Hakodate. This is not the original one. The original one was burned down in a fire that happened in the early 1900s. But this is a new one that was completed in 1910 and it's been designated like an important cultural property. It's been restored multiple times since then, but this is the same building that's been standing since the fire destroyed the original. So we're inside the building now. Let's check it out. We had to take off our shoes or we have to walk around in these, these sandals as well. So this is the reception hall. It's massive. Looks like you can also rent different types of dresses to make for a good photo opportunity. So we just finished walking through the old public hall and it was really interesting, really old fashioned inside. It felt like I was walking through like a, a castle or something like that. It was very interesting. Whoa. Here's another cool looking building. This is kind of a lighter blue color building. It looks like a mansion and it's a restaurant inside. Let's check it out. Sitting on top of the pose is the Hakodate City's bird and it's called the the tit. And here it is right here. That is the city bird. Pretty interesting. The old British consulate of Hakodate right here. This is one of the first places that like foreigners were allowed into Japan. So there's a lot of like very old uh, consulates. There's a Russian one, Chinese one. This is basically like has some of the oldest like uh, buildings, uh, oldest Western style buildings in Japan because it's pretty much the point of first contact. Let's check it out. Hakodate. Hello everyone, welcome to Hakodate. <laughs> yeah.
Doesn't even feel like we're in Japan right now. Check this out. I'm eating scones, drinking some tea. Not green tea, this is some Earl Grey tea. And this is inside the British consulate. Yeah, put it on. So we just left the British consulate. It was really cool. We had tea, I had a lemonada, and it was very interesting. It felt like we were in a different country. It felt like we were in Great Britain or something like that. And we also filmed a 23 minute podcast. So make sure to subscribe my ex to my exclusive Instagram content because that's where I'll be posting that. So now we're at the Hakodate City Museum of the Northern Peoples. We're gonna check it out, see what's, what it's all about. Let's go. So we just finished going through the museum. They wouldn't let me record in there, so I didn't get footage. It was pretty small, but there was a lot of cool artifacts from the past. Um, so it was a pretty interesting museum. It was just a little small, but I would definitely check it out if you were to come to Hakodate. All right, guys, so we're at Japan's first concrete electricity pole. Right here, you can see it's the landmark, and this is it. This is the first concrete electricity pole. They built this because of all the fires that caused so much damage. They built this in response because it'd be less likely to catch on fire. And this is the first one in Japan. So we just checked into the Apa Hotel. It's a pretty common hotel that I stay at. It's usually at just about every city that I go to, and it's most of the time it's one of the cheapest hotels. So this is the cheapest hotel in Hakodate. We got a decent deal, two single bedroom with two beds, and so should be a good hotel for us. So we relaxed in the hotel for a little bit, and it started raining, but it just stopped. And now we're gonna take the gondola up to the top of Mount Hakodate, and you can see it right here, right to the top of there. And we're gonna get a great view of the entire city. So I'm really excited, it's gonna be a great view. Here's the gondola entrance and then we're going all the way up there. The weather's still a little bit cloudy, a little bit gray in the sky, but I think it's still gonna be a good view, still gonna be worth it. And then once it gets dark, we'll see all the lights lit up. It should still be good. This gondola is absolutely packed. Look how many people are in it. So unfortunately we can't see anything right now. So we might have to come back tomorrow. We'll wait it out for a little bit and see if we can get a better view. So we're calling it, you can't really see anything. We're only getting split seconds of the view. So we're calling it, we're heading down. We might try it again tomorrow, it's supposed to rain, but we'll see. But hey, that's, that's the thing with traveling. Not everything always goes your way. So sometimes it happens, but we're still, we're still getting, we're still doing good. We're gonna find something down at the bottom to do. So we're still good. So it started raining really hard. So now we're just walking, trying to find a good restaurant to eat at. And we're just gonna, hopefully the rain will clear up a little bit, but if not, that's all right too. Like just walk around, get some night rainy shots, which I like to do, so. I'm keeping this umbrella to my head so it doesn't move. I got my backpack right here. Just trying to stay dry until we get to the restaurant. So we made it to our restaurant. This restaurant serves Genghis Khan, which is lamb that is famous in Hokkaido. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully it's good. And hopefully the rain will start to slow down while we're eating. Let's go. Okay, Genghis Khan is, is lamb. So what you do to grill it, you put it in the middle of this big grill here, once they bring it out. Then you fill vegetables and stuff all around the sides. So as it's grilling, the meat from the lamb will melt 
and then just kind of help grill and flavor all the vegetables and you mix it all together, dunk it in some sauce. Best food there is in Hokkaido. Whoa. It's really good. I can see why it's famous out here. It's really good. Ate a lot of meat and I am full. The food was really, really good though. I can see exactly why it is famous in Hokkaido because it was delicious. This is the type of food I like to eat. This is like my favorite food ever. So it was really, really good. So we, before we go back to the hotel, we're just gonna check out this one street. It's supposed to be pretty cool. It's just a cluster of small restaurants. We're gonna look through it and it's supposed to be a lot of lights. It should be pretty interesting. We're just walking around outside right now, just walking there. And it's extremely windy. It's very windy right now. It's still raining and the wind is just insane. Cold too. And it's a little cold. All right, so this is the little street that I was talking about. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so that's it for today. As you can see, I got absolutely drenched. Same. George is pretty drenched too. So we're gonna head back to the hotel and just call it a night. But then we're gonna wake up tomorrow and start going again. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, so it's day two in Hakodate. We just checked out of our hotel. We're gonna hit up a family mart or a 7-Eleven, get some snacks, and then we're gonna make the decision of what we're gonna do next. All right, guys, the famous clown restaurant. We're about to try it. Let's go. So it's 1049 and there's already a pretty big line here at this restaurant. This restaurant is only located in Hakodate and there's 17 locations located in the city. Pretty wild. Here's Here's the menu. They've got a lot of different types of options here. And we got our food. I hate the burger. It was okay. It wasn't too special. Um, is it worth waiting in line? Probably not. It just seemed like a normal chicken burger. Nothing too crazy. George, what do you think? I got um, the Lucky's Egg Burger. Same feeling, like it's not bad, it's just all right. Yeah. If anything, like I would have definitely gone to a different restaurant. It was worth going to once though. And to be honest, the shake is pretty pretty good. The fries are also pretty good too, but the burger itself was only so-so. All right guys, there it is, the restaurant. You can see how long the line already is, but we just finished eating and it was actually average. The burger that I had was cheap, but it wasn't that good. Yeah. Um. I think there was other things on the menu that I think that I would have liked better, like the om rice. But we saw people having it, and it looked really, really good. Yeah, it looked perfect. But the the burger is what's advertised. Like it said, that's what it says is the number one item to get. But it wasn't that good. It was no. still good, like, but it wasn't, you know, amazing or anything like that. It just, just like seemed like an average burger. Yeah, I had the, uh, I had the Lucky Egg Burger. It was like, I mean. I don't know, I just wasn't a fan of the, the, the patty. It's not, it's just not great. It was, it was all right. I wasn't like incredibly disappointed. What was good though, they have fantastic fries. They had, I had a chocolate shake, fantastic. They also have this uh, guarna drink that they sell there in vending machines outside the store and in the store, also fantastic. It's still a Hakodate experience, so we still recommend going there to try it out for yourselves if you're in Hakodate, just because it's all around the city. It's like, it's definitely a must try if you're in Hakodate. So just because we didn't like the burgers, just make sure to try it for yourselves because you might find something on the menu that you like. There's a ton of options, so. All right, so we're at our last stop of this trip. 
George wants to go into the Hakadate beer factory, so we're gonna check it out and see what they offer. And George might get a, a beer or two. So this will be our last stop, then we're gonna head out. So this is inside the bar. Pretty interesting looking. Here's the beer that George got. All right, he finished every single glass. How was it? Pretty good. I think the I, either the ale or the um, alt style beer is the best, but all good. All right, guys, so we just finished exploring Hakodate. We're now heading back to the train station. Overall, Hakodate is an awesome city. Definitely worth visiting too for a day or two if you have an opportunity to. Um, we're gonna take the train back to Amori and then call it a night. So if you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you want exclusive content, make sure to subscribe to me on Instagram. And thank you for your support. We'll see you next time.